Spanish passport. For Pimlico, there must be some mistake. No, there's no mistake. It all began during the great heat wave, when the discovery of buried treasure revealed that part of Pimlico was really Burgundy. That might seem unimportant, unless you lived in Pimlico. Legally, this is Burgundy. Head office no longer has any jurisdiction over this bank. This is my bank. Russian books, this is Burgundy. Coupon, this is Burgundy. Your export department. This is Burgundy. 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 so good, but there are complications ahead in Pimlico. Only the Duke himself can appoint a council. I am the Duke of Burgundy. Not to mention serious repercussions in Whitehall. You see, technically these Burgundians are aliens. Aliens? Well, that's your pigeon. Ah, but they're undesirable aliens. It's your pigeon. <laughs> of your very own. Just a pipe dream, a castle in the air. For you, perhaps, but not for them. They ran a railway of their own. And how they ran it. Of course, there was a bit of local opposition. Such men thrive on competition. For them, a spot of rivalry is the spice of life. Oh, a duel! How very delightful! Come along, Mr. Weech. See you off. These are the men of Titfield. George Ralph. John Gregson. Norton Wayne. <laughs> Godfrey Turl, Hugh Griffith, and Stanley Holloway. Miss Hamilton, dear manners. We're going to blow up. Men with the same undaunted spirit as the pioneers of old. We want the Titfield Thunderbolt. Out of the museum? Yes, yes, she run. She's as good as ever she was. I'll stake my living on it. And this is the Titfield Thunderbolt herself. Still blushing at the memory of the night when she was whistled at by Stevenson's rocket. <laughs> Studios, inspired creators of the fabulous Lavender Hill Mob, now joyfully embark upon the crest of yet another crime wave.
using this sweetly innocent old lady as a bewildered, unsuspecting decoy, the hilariously infamous Alec Guinness prepares a masterstroke of villainy that only he could conjure up and carry through with such demoniacal glee. No plot was ever hatched with such satanic cunning as Guinness and his genial group of merry minstrels hit every high note in this delightfully different entertainment. True artists, every one of them. Who'd count the cost of such abandoned banditry? Who wouldn't risk a limb or two to join in such high-spirited highwaymanry? I said to nobody was to do it! I said, I said, Mr. I said nobody was to do Mrs. Lopsided! Stop that! Mr. Lawson, put Mr. Harvey down. What are you doing? Who is Mrs. Lopsided, may I ask? Alec Guinness triumphantly outdoes his laughter-loaded leadership of the Lavender Hill Mud as he involves his gruesome gang of lady killers in the season's most uproarious escapade.